again. Oh god. Hey, hello everybody. It's Cheshire again with another video. Uh, obviously a drawing, uh, thing, speed paint, call it what you will. But this is no ordinary speed paint, it is... No, it is actually a challenge that me and Space have developed on our way to home. <laughs> Basically. And, um... So, yeah, this is... We had trouble coming up with the name, so we just chose, um... Song Original Creation Challenge. Other known... Otherwise known as... Sock. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. And not like the socks you wear on your feet either. It's actually S-O-C-C. -C, so. Anyways, the rules for this is very simple. Uh, pick two songs of your choosing. Or if you're going to do like a collab, the other person has to choose two songs for you. Whatever they choose for you, you have to use those songs. Um, you can use one song to make two characters or one character that goes to the song or you can use both the songs to um, make a storyline of characters which is what exactly I did in this video as you'll see later um, the song that's playing right now by the way is not one of the songs <laughs> this is just so while I'm talking um, one song must have lyrics in your language so if you're in a different country obviously not in the US but you still want to do it you must have one in your language and you also have to leave I don't know like we can yeah leave the name of the song so that people will know what song what what's the song saying or if they want to look it up later I don't know it's up to the, those people um, the characters have to be based on two lines of lyrics. So, for one song, Sundial, um, your text, it, it's based off the two singers singing about, uh, to each other, saying, you know, don't catch, don't catch me looking at you kind of thing. I forgot the lyrics, but anyways. <laughs> it's based off those two two. And the cloud character in this one, cloud looking character in this one, is actually based off the other song, Cosmo by Cosmo Sheldick, the Moss. And the reason why I chose that, uh, or Space chose that one, is just because she wanted to see me suffer. And, um, but, anyways. When I heard the song, I thought of, oh, hey, it's a storyteller talking about stories. Originally, I was going to have him in like a suit and a top hat, and but I decided to go against it and just make a whole storyline of characters with both these songs. So with the other song, the first song, or yeah, Sundial Your Text. Um, the song starts off like a water droplet sound, and I was think I was already thinking, oh, maybe I can use the sound and incorporate it into the character, and that's what exactly I did. The first two characters are supposed to be like unifying each other, because without water, there is no life, and that's why the green-looking dude, as you'll see later is actually together with her um since i was just originally gonna put three characters i decided to make one more which is this fire girl originally she was not planned obviously but i thought hey if i already got a cloud like an earth element and water element why not just make another one and so this is what I came up with. Um, the second song can be anything of your choice. It can have lyrics, it can have no lyrics, it can be K-pop, J-pop, different language, whatever. It's up to you. As, as long as it's not fan base. 
example, Hamilton. It can not be Hamilton, be more chill. Anime songs, I mean, most of the songs from Japan and Korea or over there is based off animes, but I mean, that's up to you. Um, but if you're going to do that, you have to explain why. I don't know, just don't do it off of fan base. Right? Yeah. So, I guess that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a little detail about the characters. As you can see, this character looks like a... Looks like Lawrence. That was not the intention. I was not intending for him to look like Lawrence from um, Hamilton. It just happened. And... <laughs> and obviously, he looks like a combination between Lawrence and Shiro, for some reason, from Voltron. That wasn't planned. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna have to say. Um, but for the first two characters, the water and the forest looking green dude, um, I wasn't thinking about their outfits at all. I was just thinking they're a couple. Let's go with that. But then as I was drawing this character, like when the initial sketch, as I was drawing this character, I was thinking more into his, um, what, sh what he should wear, what he should be based off of. So I based this cloud looking character off of, um, was it monks? The outfits? Because Avatar, hello! I mean, you can have things to base off of, that's like okay because it, technically you're still not copying, but at the same time, you're taking inspiration. Yeah, you're taking inspiration from what you love and incorporating it into your drawing. With the fire girl, and so I went back to the forest, and while I was doing the fire girl, I was thinking maybe these two should be like neighbors, like they. Obviously, he's a forest and she's fire. So what if she's from, like, a volcano? Her home is in a volcano and he's in the forest that's below. So, hey, they're neighbors. So I made them based off Hawaiian culture. That's why they have they both have those Hawaiian tattoos, as you'll see later. And his necklace, the forest's necklace as well, is based off Hawaiian culture. The water one... I just was thinking it's water, you need to go with the flow kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best thing, but I did incorporate, I was thinking about how people would put, would draw their, what they think water would look like, and I noticed that for water, it's like a lot of long-haired girls. Of like, let's just break that chain and put short hair and make it floaty. <laughs> Originally, I was also gonna put like fish in her dress and her, and her hair, but I thought maybe not because that's just too much to draw in one day. And I'm a big procrastinator. As for the forest one with his outfit, I forgot to mention he has all these holes in his dress, his, his leave looking skirt, and his hair. Um, in nature, you see bugs eating off the leaves. So, I think, I was thinking, hey, let's like make him like a mess. Clumsy type, but still care careful for everything he does. So, I mean, I was already thinking of pets, so like he would have like a big ladybug or something and he's like super afraid of it because he, it eats his hair and he doesn't want that, he doesn't want it to eat his hair at all, so 
or eat him. So that's what I was thinking. And um, for the cloud one, I was thinking of uh, like he's a big brotherly type. He goes, everyone else goes to him for advice when they're in trouble, and he just the way he is, big brotherly type, I guess. And maybe that's why I was like thinking of Shiro when I was doing this, because Shiro reminds me of like a big brother, father figure kind of type, and. I guess that's what I was going for in this. Subconsciously. <laughs> but, um. Oh, yeah, I made his eyes close because I thought he would be, like, very mysterious in a way, but yet, but also kind. And then I was also thinking if I were to draw his eyes open, it would be the color of. At certain times, it would be, um, sunrise and sunset. So there would always be a time. Like, they would always be able to tell time with his eyes if he, or, if he ever opens them. <laughs> That's why he probably keeps them closed. I don't know. I'm still thinking about the details, but... Um, I think this was a great idea for me and Space to do. It's actually helped me with my, um, artist block because now I'm able to do something else for a change and it's like super super easy to do but it's like hard because <laughs> you have like two songs to work with but yeah this was like super fun and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I do and I would like to see some of your drawings as well with this challenge but without further ado here are the two songs that Space has given me See you in the next video. <laughs>
and I Pretty stranger, I think you look cute. Can I get your number? I wanna know you. Tell me your secrets. Tell me your fears. Nobody will notice. Let's get out of here. Hey girl, don't catch me looking. Oh boy, I caught you staring. What do you think of me? Do you think of me? You got that new style You wear that perfect smile I'll take you on a date Are you free Saturday? And I Stranger, I think you look cute. I don't think I've ever met someone like you. People come and go, but I'm here to stay. Just call my name, we'll be okay. Hey girl, don't catch me looking. Oh boy, I caught you staring. What do you think of me? You think of me You got that new style You wear that perfect smile I'll take you on a date Are you free Saturday? And I Bye. 
can see that the moss goes on the north side of the trees. The legend has it when the rains come down, all the worms come up to breathe. The legend has it when the sunbeams come, all the plants stay in the middle. The legend has it that the world spins round on an axis of 23. Legend has it that the moss goes on the north side of the trees. The legend has it when the rains come down, all the worms come up to breathe. The legend has it when the sunbeams come, all the plants stay in the middle. The legend has it that the world spins round on an axis of 23 degrees. Legend has it when the rains come down, all the worms come up to 